become a freelance video editor in just one week okay guys in this video i want to quickly show you how you can become a freelance video editor in just one week and make over 500 dollars on a monthly basis okay this process and this method i want to review today in this tutorial video is actually the method i myself implement or the method and the strategy that i myself have been implementing and that have been helping me to make money as a freelance video editor okay so i will show you three different steps of how this thing work i'll be splitting our today's tutorial video into three different steps and step one will actually be picking up an advanced video editing software then step two is how and where to find people or then in step three, I'll be revealing some of my own strategies, some of the hacks that I have implemented and that have been working for me as a freelance video editor and that have actually helped me make money as a freelance video editor. So guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel Anthony. As you all know, what I do on YouTube is that I teach people how to make money online, share tips and strategies that can actually help you build a stream of income for yourself, even from the comfort of your home. So now today's tutorial video, I want to talk about how you can actually become a freelance video editor and make cool cards from it. I have been doing this thing practically and I know how much I've been making as a freelance video editor, which I'll be showing you proof and I'll equally be revealing the strategies that I personally implement so that you can actually follow and imitate my own strategy and as well make the money that I am making. And I'll show you proof of everything in this video. Okay, so before you can actually become a freelance video editor, you actually need to lay your hand on the right video editing software. Just like me, as you can see here on my screen, what I actually make use of or the video editing software that I actually make use of is the Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you can see now, this is a project that I've already launched on the Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to quickly close down the Adobe Premiere Pro program and then I'll take you down to you know reopening the adobe premiere pro um, program again or the adobe premiere pro video editing software again and then i'll walk you through all of the basic from a to z because i know that there are beginners watching this video as well so picking the video editing software is the number one step we'll be looking at for today so let me quickly close this one right now and then i'll reopen it and I'll show you how it's done okay so as you can see now i've closed my adobe premiere pro so i'm just quickly come over to my laptop screen now and then i'll hit on adobe premiere pro and open it again adobe premiere pro actually happens to be the industry leading video editing software at the moment so if you're looking into becoming a video freelance editor you need to go and you know install adobe premiere pro or you need to go and learn how to use adobe premiere pro and i'll be revealing that in this video as well so as you can see now the adobe premiere pro software i've actually launched so now this is the step one of our today's tutorial video step one is actually picking the adobe premiere pro software then i'll quickly come over now here and hit on new project then as soon as i hit a new project it's going to bring me over to the section where i can pick the title of my project i can just pick um freelance editing or anything at all i can just pick any name i wish that i will actually use to remember the file because we'll be exporting the file at the end of the day then i just quickly hit on ok so as soon as i hit on ok it's gonna bring me over to a brand new uh you know um section or segment like this or timeline like this as you can see it kind of look complicated right it looks confusing so you need a teacher to walk you through the basic steps on how to actually use this stuff so it's very simple guys now we have actually known the video editing software that i want to use in order to become a freelance video editor before you can become a video editor as the name implies video editor what do you do you actually edit videos like you edit video files for people maybe youtube videos you are advertising advert video or any type of video at all that's what you are you know edit in order to make money and there are so many ways to actually make money as a video editor so now that i've already picked up the next the the software that we need um i'll quickly you know close down the software again and you know take a pause on our step one which is picking the video editing software because on this step one is where i will teach you how to use this video editing software as adobe then i'll close it and then we'll move on to step two which is where to find clients that will be needing our service as video editors because if you're a video editor you actually need to know if anybody will employ you at the end of the day after mastering your video editing skills so if i'm to close it down now and then i come over to google chrome um i just want to be as snappy as possible because this is something i do almost every day so i don't have to waste time on it so if i'm to come over now to fiverr or upwork they are all freelance marketplaces where you can actually come and you know create what is called a gig on video editing and then you actually get to find clients that are looking for video editors to employ or to hire or even send or reach on a long-term um, contract deal with them let's let's say people that are running youtube channels and i'll show you how i've been doing it as well because it's something i've been doing i have you know people that have been working with channel youtube channel owners that have been helping with uh, i've been editing videos for them and i'm making money from it so on this freelance marketplace is the only challenge you're actually going to face here is saturation there are a lot of people that are already doing this thing here video editors here and there on free, um, 
places like Fiverr and Upwork. And these people are already, they are already top ranking sellers. So they will actually tend to be competition to you, which will actually, you know, limit your chances of you um ranking fast and you know landing client fast okay because if i'm to quickly come over now to a place like fiverr and hit on video editor or video editing then i quickly hit on video editing right here now you're going to see thousands of people that are rendering video editing services yes let me check um okay as you can see here over forty two thousand two hundred and forty nine people are rendering video editing service so that's going to actually be a challenge for you you won't have any you know chance to start making money asap as a video editor with this strategy because um saturation is going to be a challenge for you competitors everywhere um you find it difficult to rank and you find it difficult to land your clients as fast as possible it will, might lead you to you know want to quit and um, which will not make you any money at the end of the day. So that's why I'll kind of downplay this idea of going for freelance marketplace now as a video editor because it will take you time to master the software. So I believe after learning it, you want to make money with it. So um, the other strategy I actually advise is you using your video editing skill to run a youtube channel yes i'm a youtube content creator i share videos on how to make money online or general online make money making if you come over to the youtube homepage where you equally find other youtube edit um, other youtube content creators that are maybe into you know um youtube seo um, equally maybe online money making maybe skit making adobe tutorials sports and so on and so forth these people actually make money from their content just like me as well i make money from my youtube content so each and every of these content you are seeing here we are all edited by either the channel owner or by video freelance editors yes i have channels that i edit videos for and i'll show you proof of those channels so if you come over now to the youtube search um icon right here then you hit on search and go to this youtube channel known as zodias um, zodias tv zodias tv is actually a youtube channel that you know create content around um, movies they create nollywood movies that's nigerian movie if you actually open up um zodias tv right now you're going to find their video content some of this video content I actually happens to be the video editor. Yeah, I co, you know, we, we, we work together. You know, it's not easy to edit movie. It takes time. You know, you have to put in sound, soundtrack, sound effects, you know, color grading and all of those things. It takes time. So I actually, you know, provide sound effects for this YouTube channel. Yes, this is a company YouTube channel. If you think, uh, what I'm saying is a lie. Let me show you this movie right here. Okay. Um, hold on a bit. This particular one, uh, where is it? Okay, The Promise. This particular one titled The Promise. You can watch this movie. I even featured as a cast in this movie, The Promise. If you are doubting me, come over to my Facebook account. Then let's go over to my Facebook profile. Then if you come over to my Facebook profile, then come over to my videos. This is my own personal Facebook account, my main profile. Then come over to videos. I'm um, sorry. Um, come over to photos. Let's go to photos. Then under photos, you scroll down, you scroll down scroll down again you'll see a lot of videos that have a um, lot of photos that have you know uploaded in time past then you quickly open up this image right here then if you open up this image right here this was actually how i was dressed as a cast in that particular movie if you equally check here you see um this is the you know costume i actually wore in this particular movie known as the promise so you can actually watch the movie um the promise vc zodias tv and you find me in there as a cast so if i don't work with them as a video editor there is no way they will feature me as a cast in their movie you find this same costume i wore here in this same video and you know me this is how i'm looking yeah i know i'm slim okay you equally find me in this movie so that's how it is and i personally source for the soundtracks for this particular um you know videos as a video editor and i create youtube content so i know how to bypass all of youtube policies all of their sound limitations you know um i know how to go through all of their privacy policies and all of that i know how to use sounds without them falling into copyright claims so this is how it works how i equally make money as a youtube video editor so if i'm not a cast of their movie or if i don't work with them as a video editor then what will I be doing on their platform? I make money. Yeah, we are, we are even working on a long-term contract basis. If they're from this um, place, all of the sounds that were used in this movie, in this one, this one, this one, I personally pr provide the sounds that were used. That's because I'm a video editor. If I'm not a video editor, there is no way I'll be able to provide the sound effects or the soundtracks that were used for, for this movie. So that's the way, one way or one of the methods that I implement and that I would strongly advise you look out for is by, you know, taking advantage of your video editing skill to work with movie makers or other youtube content creators or the most you know um 
depending one, the one that actually help you scale and build a sustainable stream of income is actually growing a YouTube channel with your video editing skill. Yes, yeah, this is my own personal YouTube channel, Daniel Anthony. And you don't actually have to create content on making money online just do what I'm doing. You can create content on other niches, maybe on food, on health, on sports, on relationship, anything you know you are good at. You can create video content on all of them and get them monetized because if you monetize any content of yours, you start making money from it on a daily basis. Let me prove it to you. Okay, if you come over now to my own personal accounts and go over to um, YouTube Studio, that's my own back end of my YouTube channel. I am most content creator will show you this, but I want to show you this to actually prove it to you that I have been making money with my video editing skills. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, still a baby YouTuber, but I'm, I'm enjoying the process. Okay, so these are all of my content. These are my video content on my own YouTube channel. If I'm to go to search across channel and then I search on a particular video known as Pico Workers, all of my videos are monetized and are already making me money, but I'll just pick this one as a case study for this tutorial. Then if I hit on the analytics section of this particular video, you will see that this video have generated 59,000 views, approaching 60,000 views, and I've generated 3.5 thousand watch time hour, and I've generated 1,400 subscribers, and I've generated in revenue $234. Just this video. I personally edited this video and published it on my YouTube channel. And up to this date, this video is still making me money passively. You just imagine this thing will actually drive you crazy if you're a video editor and you don't know that you can actually make decent money as a YouTube content creator with your video editing skill. Why are you wasting time? Do you want to become a video editor? Do you want to become a YouTube content creator? Please just drop your comments in the comment section below and tell me, hey Daniel, I want to become a video editor and start making money online with my video editing skill as a YouTube content creator. I'll walk you through the steps. This is the most, you know, uh, in fact, this is the easiest way to make money as a video editor by running a YouTube channel with your video editing skill because because what YouTubers do are mostly editing and sharing video content. If you're a YouTube content creator, you must be a video editor or you'll be ready to hire a video editor. So um, now that's for that. Now that I've shown you what I've been doing at my own back end with my own video editing skill, making money on a daily basis for my own self, let's now go back to the step one. I've shown you the step two, which is actually going over to freelance marketplace, although you're going to find it challenging to start making money, but it works. I'm not actually downplaying that far that it doesn't work and you must be very good with your skill before anybody wants to hire you on these freelance marketplaces like Fiverr and Upwork. This is actually challenges you're going to face, but the safest way to do it is actually running a YouTube channel with your video editing skill, which which I have been doing for the past two years and I've been making money from it. Okay. So that's for that. Now, now that I've shown you the two methods that you can actually implement to make money uh, as a freelance video editor or as an offline freelance video editor. And you can even do this thing and master the whole process in just one week. Yeah. In just one week, if you are smart enough. So that's just it. So now I've shown you the process. Let's go back to reopening our video editing software again so let's start from the basics this is not an adobe premiere pro tutorial so i'll just show you the basics of how to use it but if you want to learn more and master how to actually use the adobe premiere pro video editing software very well you can drop your comment in the comment section below as well or you can reach out to me check out this video description below you will find my whatsapp contact line in there and you can reach out to me so that i'll walk you through the basic processes so that's for that. Now, as you can see, we have opened the, you know, project on our Adobe Premiere Pro. So what all you just have to do next is actually come over to this corner section that says file. Then you hit on it. Then you scroll down to the corner section again that says import. Then you hit on import. Then it's going to take you over to any of file. Um, it's going to bring you over to your file manager where you can quickly pick any video file that you want to edit. Let's say you already have a video in mind that you want to edit. All you just have to do is to actually, you know, highlight the video and then hit on open. Automatically, it's going to import the video as a file into your video editing um, software, or which is the Adobe Premiere Pro software. So now we already have a project that I want to edit. So all you just have to do again is to come over here. This is the smartest and the easiest way to do it. Or let me use the word the easiest way to actually do this thing or to start as a beginner when you want to start editing video with Adobe Premiere Pro. So all you just have to do is to drag and, you know, drop it right in here on the timeline. So as you can see now, it has started showing. This is the color section for color grading in case you want to, work, you know, upscale the color a bit. But for now, let's forget about that and focus on the main thing. So these are all of the editing tools. So let me just show it out a bit. Um, these are all of the editing um, main icon. This one is 
the razor tool um this one is the pen tool the test tool the hand free tool and you know the navigation tool which is this one so the main the most important one is actually um the razor tool which you'll actually use to trim off any fluff or any errors that you don't want to be in the video file okay let's say we don't want from here to here in this video file all i just have to do now, now i've you know highlighted my razor tool i'll just come over now here and trim here and then i'll come over to any part of the video that i know i don't want again let's say here then i can quickly trim here again then as soon as i do that i will come over now to this free hand tool again and then select tool then i come again and hit on it and then i hit on delete on my keyboard as you can see automatically it have deleted the file i don't want so and then i highlight it again i can right click on my mouse i hit on repo delete or i just hit on del backspace or delete on my keyboard or i just hit on delete or backspace on my keyboard as you can see it have deleted that part so you can actually you know follow the same steps to trimming off any fluff or any error or any part of the video file you don't want until you get a, you know a detailed project or a fully finished or a detailed project that you want you know each and every video do have sounds okay any video without sound is not a complete video so if you want to you know increase or reduce the sound of the video depending on how you want it in decibel measurements all you just have to do is to you know highlight the video file right here and then you come over to um this section right here and then you're going to find audio clip missa then you hit on audio clip missa then you're going to find the section where you can either increase the volume upwards or you adjust it downward okay so this is how easy it is to you know you know adjust your sound in decibels and as you're listening i believe you have an earpiece plugged in your ear um, while you're editing your video because you need to be hearing the sound while you're editing okay based on the fact that this is a tutorial i just have to mute the sound of this video i don't want it to you know enter into my microphone so I just, you can just screw up or down and then that's just it okay let's talk about transitions or animations um okay let me go back to window in case you want to re regain the normal editing go back to window go back to workspace and then come over to editing hit on editing okay now it's going to bring it back to balance so now we are here um you can come over to this section that says um this corner section here this one that's having this two pointing arrow that's if you want to go for maybe um effect you can see effect here then under effect you're going to find audio effect audio translation video effects and video transition so we are looking out for video transition let's say you want a video to transit maybe ripple off or swipe or wave or fade off then this is where you're going to find it then you can hit it and you're going to see 3d motion dissolve a massive video irish page peel okay let's say we need a page peel transition all you just have to do is i think uh, okay this is, is one of the page peel page peel then we just highlight the page peel, then you drag it and then you drop it in between the segments that you want the transition to take effect then you leave it right in there then if you play on the video right now um now the video is playing then or uh, let me drag it closer so that you see how this transition is actually gonna take effect on the video okay so as you can see this is how the transition actually worked okay let me take it back again so that you see the page peel okay let's take it back again and watch it again um as you can see the transition actually took effect so you don't have to use transition randomly or carelessly you use it when you need them okay they equally have other forms of transition in here and that's it then let's talk about the sound effect now i've shown you the video effect in the aspect of transition and all of that then we have the sound effect let's pick on these two arrow to these two pointing arrow again then you're going to find the effect again um okay screw up okay audio effect under audio effect or audio transition but i mostly advise you look out for audio effect in case you record the video and the sound of the video tend to sound a little bit noisy you can just screw down a little bit here and you're gonna see the noise okay the noise will actually help you you know silence any background noise of the video but retain the main voice of the video just like this one here now you just drag and drop it here on the video file automatically it will apply to the sound of the video and then all of this background noise will be removed and only your voice will be left so that's just it this is actually the basics that i've just shown you but if you want to advance the more or uh, you want to you know maybe go into more advanced video editing with adobe premiere pro which happens to be the industry standard of video editing after you need to drop your comment in the comment section below so that we can talk about that so after i might have fully edited your video let's say you are done with your editing and everything and this is just a tutorial i don't want to go through all of the whole processes um all you just have to do is to export your video file into you can to export your edited file into you know um a clean mp4 project so or, or a clean mp4 video so all you just have to do is to come over to this corner here that says file you don't file then you hit on um where is it export but if you don't want to do it that way you can quickly hit on your computer control m 
then automatically it's going to bring you over to the export section okay just hold on it's loading so now this is the section where you can export then i just have to drag it up here as you can see under output name you can change the name of the file then you, as you can see here um uh, okay let's go down video everything is okay okay format you pick format h.264 that's the format which you pick that's the uh, you know right format for exporting then under presets you're gonna see match source high by trait you're gonna pick match source high by trait then you, you screw down uh, i think that's just it for exporting this is the basic you need to do then you don't export as soon as you hit on export it will start encoding so it's going to take this video 14 minutes and 20 something seconds to export into a full video file so let's give some time to actually export okay so now our video is done exporting so all you just have to do is to go over to your um file manager or your file explorer and you know source for your video but to easily know where the video file will be exported to is you know under certain while you are trying to export the video just quickly click on this place here then you're going to see where the file will be saved to if it's under video or under download or under document but i left it under video while i was saving my own so where i can quickly find the video file after exporting is under video and to easily source for the video file without stressing yourself maybe going through all of your file explorer is to also change the video title name during exporting so you can pick anything let's say i want it to be daniel I can just change it to Daniel so that after exporting, I can easily go over to my video file and search for Daniel under hello and then I'll find my video file. Okay, so that's it guys. After I might have, you know, edited this video and let's say I'm editing this video for YouTube, it's a tutorial video. This happens to be one of my tutorial videos that I actually did. I personally edited the video and I uploaded it onto my YouTube channel. Even up to this day, the video is still making me money. So guys, this is I just have to quickly wrap up the video for now. I've shown you three different steps as to how you can become a freelance video editor and start making money right away. Is by, you know, picking the right video editing software, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. Make sure you go for Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, the one I use is actually the adobe premiere pro 2019 version you can go for it and if you want more tutorial or you want more advanced tutorial on the adobe premiere pro um video editing software you can drop a comment in the comment section below so that i will know if i can make a video around it okay then if i'm to close it now then the next step is actually you know you know um um creating a gig on freelance platforms like fiverr and upwork and the other one is actually running your own personal youtube channel with your video editing skills so that's it guys i believe this way. i just have to quickly wrap up the video and to meet again in my next make money online tutorial video it's still your boy daniel anthony subscribe like and share but for now bye bye and peace